Brennan spoon-fed Obama fake dossier info by Amy Moreno for truthfeednews.com. Well, 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 looks like we have yet another liar from the Obama deep state intel community. This time, it's former CIA Director John Brennan, who has been fingered by two former colleagues who claim Brennan contradicted himself when he said the debunked drunk, uh, Trump-Russia uh, dossier was not part of the U.S. intelligence community assessment on the so-called Russian interference in the 2016 election. This new report blows the lid off that claim and exposes more lies and deceit within Obama's administration. It appears as if John Brennan was spoon-feeding Obama info from the discredited and fake dossier leading up to the 2016 election and beyond. As Representative Devin Nunes uh, pointed out, this was a setup from the get-go. From Zero Hedge, central to the controversy is a statement by recently retired National Security Agency Director Michael Rogers, who stated in a classified letter to Congress that the anti-Trump memos, which made up the dossier, did factor in to the IC assessment, which was reinforced in a CNN interview by James Clapper, former director of national intelligence, who said that the assessment was based on some of the substantive content of the dossier and that the IC was able to corroborate certain dossier allegations. In a March 5, 2018 letter to House Intelligence Committee Chairman Devin Nunes, Admiral Rogers informed the committee that the two-page summary of the dossier described as the Christopher Steele information was added as an appendix to the ICA draft and that consideration of that appendix uh, appendix was part of the overall ICA review slash approval process. His skepticism of the dossier may explain why the NSA parted company with other intelligence agencies and cast doubt on one of its crucial collusions, that Vladimir Putin personally ordered a cyber attack on Hillary Clinton's campaign to help Donald Trump win the White House, real clear investigations. What's more, Brennan was feeding some of the dossier material to President Obama and passing it off as credible, reports Speary. Brennan put some of the dossier material into the PDB, Presidential Daily Briefing, for Obama and described it as coming from a credible source, which is how they viewed Steele said the source familiar with the House investigation. But they never corroborated his sources. Real clear uh, investigation, yeah. Undercover Uber. It, I'll just leave uh, this here. M March uh, 5th, 18th, retiring NSA Director Mike Rogers sends classified letter to HPSCI Chair Devin Nunes. Uh, 4 18 Devin Nunes reveals publicly the DJT Russia uh, investigation wasn't started with official intel. Of note, some suspect Rogers warned Trump that he was being spied on shortly after the 2016 U U.S. election. Uh, Brennan testified in May of 2017 to the House uh, Intelligence Committee that the Steele dossier was not in any way used as the basis for the intelligence community's assessment of Russia involvement in the 2016 election, a claim he has repeated several times, including a February appearance on Meet the Press. Rogers said during testimony that while he was convinced that Russia wanted to harm Clinton politically, uh, he wasn't of the opinion that they wanted to help Trump, as his CIA and FBI counterparts claimed. The assessment didn't have the same level of sourcing and the same level of multiple sources, Rogers said. The dossier, which is made up of 16 opposition research-style uh, memos on Trump, underwritten by the Democratic Na uh, National Committee and Clinton's own campaign, is based mostly on uncorroborated third-hand sources. Still, the ICA 
has been viewed by much of the Washington establishment as the unimpeachable cons uh, consensus of the U.S. intelligence community. It concludes that Vladimir Putin ordered the hacking and leaking of Clinton campaign emails to help Trump's chances of victory have driven the Russia collusion uh, narrative and subsequent investigations besieging the Trump presidency, RCI. That said, the ICA did not, in fact, reflect the intelligence community's consensus. Clapper broke with tradition and decided not to put the assessment out to all 17 U.S. intelligence agencies for review. Instead, he limited input to a couple dozen chosen analysts from just three agencies to the CIA, NSA, and FBI, agencies with relevant expertise on Russia, such as the Department of Homeland Security, Defense Intelligence Agency, and the State Department's Intelligence Bureau were excluded from the process, RCI. On other words, in other words, I would say, the assessment of Russia's interference was shielded from government experts who might be able to poke holes in the literal conspiracy theory. The House Intelligence Committee found that the ICA did not appropriately describe the quality and credibility of underlying sources and that it was not independent of political considerations. Furthermore, the report is missing any dissenting views whatsoever, as would normally be included. Traditionally, controversial uh, intelligence community assessments like this, including dissenting views and the views of an outside review group, said Fred Fleets, who Real Clear Investigations reports worked as a CIA analyst for 19 years and helped draft national intelligence estimates at Langley. It also should have been thoroughly vetted with an, uh, all relevant IC agencies, he added. Why were DHS and DIA excluded? Fleets uh, suggests that the Obama administration limited the number of players involved in the analysis to skew the results. He believes the process was manipulated to reach a predetermined political conclusion that the incoming rep uh, Republican president was compromised by the Russians. I've never viewed the ICA as credible, the CIA veteran added. A uh, source close to the House investigation said Brennan himself selected the CIA and FBI analysts who worked on the ICA and that they included former FBI counter-espionage chief Peter Strzok. Strzok was the intermediary between Brennan and former FBI Director James Comey, and he was one of the authors of the ICA, according to the source, RCI. Strzok, of course, was reassigned to another department within the FBI after anti-Trump and pro-Clinton text messages were uncovered by DOJ Inspector General Michael Horowitz. Strzok remains under investigation by the IG, while his FBI lovebird Lisa Page resigned uh, in uh, uh, quotes here, was fired in early May. Strzok uh, spearheaded the FBI's uh, early uh, investigation into Russian collusion with the Trump campaign in 2016 until former FBI Director James Comey was fired and his infamous memo suggesting obstruction kicked off special counsel Robert Mueller's investigation. Brennan swears the dossier was not used in any way as a basis for the ICA, explaining that he only heard snippets from the press in the summer of 2016. Brennan's claims are impossible to believe, Felice uh, asserted. Brennan was pushing the Trump collusion line in mid-2016 and claimed to start the FBI collusion investigation in August 2016, he said. It's impossible to believe Brennan was pushing for this investigation without having read the dossier. Well, as you can see here, we know Brennan had his cronies in those two departments to uh, push uh, the narrative that the, the Russians had something on Trump. And uh, 
And uh, that's what they were, but Obama knew all this anyway. He was briefed on this, but Obama knew. Come on, you know, uh, there's no way Obama wasn't in on this. Uh, let me know uh, what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.